Yes, people, I finally got my hands on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Super Bebop, and Mighty Rocksteady. I've been waiting to get a hold of this. This is from the Target Holophon that I was able to get them from. These are some massive beasts right here. So stay tuned as we get to another episode of the Collector's Review. Let's get to it. Welcome back to another episode of the Collector's Review. In this episode, we're going to be getting to the Super Bebop and Mighty Rocksteady action figure by NECA. This is from the Target Holothon. I didn't expect to get this so soon. Uh, I was actually coming across it. One of my buddies called me and said that he had one in hand for me to do the unboxing, so I couldn't wait to get to it. And I'm also, so this is practically part three, I would say, of the Holothon that I did. I did the first unboxing was the Evil Dead NECA action figure. Now, of course, it didn't come like that. I've just been messing around with it. And then the other one is the Toxicity Now that I'm going to be unboxing. I didn't get to this one yet, but it's going to be after this one. I just really got excited for this one. And then let me go in the hall. It's a little bit of a mess, but I did this one right here. The unboxing of Griff Tannen. That was at that was the Hall of Thine 2. So I definitely couldn't wait to get to this bad so like boy. Always so like, share, subscribe. Going to have plenty more videos coming. I'm going to try dropping them as much as possible. But this figure right here, man, I've been real excited to get to. Um, unboxing the original. I unboxed the other ones. Uh, actually, actually, let me take you right here so you guys can see real quick. Those were the first ones that I unboxed. And I know you guys know, if you watch my videos, those are the stands I made. Then I got this one from Muck that I'm going to be doing. And uh, I'm hoping this figure, this one right here, I like to get to it. I don't like to stop it to warm the figure up. I like people seeing what it's like unboxing it, how it is. If you guys didn't see in this video right here, I had that issue happen on him. So yeah, that wasn't cool. So let's get to this video right here. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that uh, this doesn't happen again. I'm going to go gentle with them, though. So the back of the box, of course, Super Bebop and Mighty Rock Steady. I would have liked if they would have uh, actually wrote about what this is, because this was in, uh, I want to say, season three. It was like episode 20 or something like that, 27. Um, episode 27, season three. Hoping uh, to keep the turtles occupied while they're installing a mind controlling mesmerizing mesmerizer on top of the broadcast tower. Shredder and Crane manufacture high tech versions of Rocksteady and Bebop. So, this came out for the Holothon just now. And like I said, lucky to get to it now. Let's do unboxing to this bad boy. See them up close. And if you could, man, hit that subscribe button because I got a lot more videos coming. And actually, of the Ninja Turtles, I'm going to be doing the unboxings. I'm going to show the fakes of this is fake of these bad boys, the SH Fig Arts. So make sure you guys tune in for that. Hit that subscribe button. I got a whole bin over here of action figures that are ready to be unboxed. Fake ones. This is fake. Uh, fake versus real. There goes the back right there. I think that's pretty slick. That's pretty slick. So put that to the side. Look at these up close. Look at the packaging. Then in the back are the hands. Give me a second and let me get these guys out of this packaging. Get this plastic out the way. Look at these guys up close. So off top pulling it out the package uh, I guess it's just my luck there's always like something that's wrong I didn't notice and uh, my friend didn't notice when he sold it to me <laughs> if you look close he is missing the ear um, maybe I can contact uh, NECA see if they might be able to send me a replacement so they they do things like that uh but yeah that sucked off top just when i pulled it out because 
again I didn't move him at all um, I looked around for the ear because I thought I actually I thought it popped out and I thought I dropped it but I went back in the video to look at the videos that I just recorded and no there was no ear in there so um that sucks off top for that but anyways they look dope man I learned I really like their look let's get to the articulation let's uh look at him real quick I'm gonna be gentle with them cuz uh, like you guys seen before that leg snapped on the other one so I want to move them around oh I love the jaw moves I did not know that so that's real cool been a while since I opened the other one kind of feels uh what do you call it bouncy is just really when you turn the head but it turns nice then let's look he doesn't look up not like that that's down and that's up so it's just like really straightforward arms let's look at these move them a little bit be gentle with them cap is flexible on the shoulder arm moves out elbow joints see how they move a little stiff but again this is without this is without uh, heating them up putting them in the water I do suggest you do that for yourself I uh, like to live on the edge does the face touch test comes with all the hands the replacement hands but so far the flexibility how he moves around it's nice not much paint I'm trying to look some paint is dropping on the uh, some paint is dropping coming off but it's not ridiculous uh, like other times so let me move this this moves real nice same thing elbow piece and that popped out when I was just trying to move them to there so that's because all right let's pop that back in all right so I got the arm back in there he does move around a little bit but it is very loose like it will pop out this thing popped off very easy but that ain't nothing but uh putting some glue in it putting a little bit of glue in it but uh I didn't think I was being too rough um, but overall it still moves around elbow I just got to get it to stick in there probably and put that there so again that popped off uh, arm, arm popped off look at the shirt so the shirt is nice flexible waist So I'm going to just leave that off for now because I don't want to have to deal with popping it back on and off. Legs, that's the splits. Knee. Um, try moving the knee. So there's the knee. And it should move back more. Don't want to test it. It looks about good right there. So that's where the knee moves. Foot. Up, down, side, side. Look at the bottom. Neck of 21. This knee. So, like he's running. So that's pretty good. I love the detail. I, I love the look of these, uh, the look of these figures with how the black outlines and everything like that. Um, don't like about the arm of course the arm falling off like that really sucked but let's look at the face close open the mouth and you guys know at the end I'm gonna be doing an up close on them uh, so you guys can see them all around and pose them hopefully no more pieces break let's stand him up real quick let's Grab Mighty Rock Steady. Look at this one up close. Real dope figures, man. To me, really disappointed that the arm broke off, came off of him. I don't think it was a heating up issue. Um, 
because it seemed like it was just e too easy to pop out so we'll see with this arms his arms here I don't know how this is gonna go because this looks like it comes down on his shoulders right there so let's move or let's do the head first head all the way back head down not much mouth opens how much his mouth opens that much so that's pretty cool arms let's look at the arm arm out because it's hitting that right there elbow elbow moves real good moves in it moves out like that easy no paint seems to be falling off of this one face touch let's look at this arm same thing and you know what you know <laughs> what's crazy is he's the same one that broke the bebop both bebops are the one that broke his arm broke and his leg broke now maybe they just want me to make a mixed one a robot a half robot half regular bebop so arm moves real good wrist is on a ball joint doesn't move around that much can't because it's in there pretty good look at them up close chest pieces so the chest piece moves so that's nice waist and then we got the legs That's about as far as you'll go. I'll get the knees. Alright. That's the knee. He'll move back more. There you go. So that's not bad. Foot up, down, up, down, side, side, swivel. So this figure actually, again, like the other one, didn't break. Um, not that other one, I'm talking about like the original one that I did. So all around, this figure, I, I, lo I just love these figures. I'm a big Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan, especially with the cartoon. I grew up on the cartoon and I remember this episode. A little trivia, do you guys know The names are actually wrong on here. I think it is. And the episode. So what the episode is called is not what they were called in the original cartoon. They call them here Super Bebop and Mighty Rock Steady. And that was the name of the episode. But I like this piece. But uh they actually were mighty mighty bebop and super rock steady I'm on a stand so I'm gonna put him on this one see how it does Boom. perfect and these stands work better than uh, I think sometimes cause like I ain't ho I'm not holding down his foot but he's in that peg pretty good stand him up let's look at the guns man I just love the cartoon the cartoon effect the cartoon look on them very slick I thought this was a dope one that's real cool like it got pulled out the ground then we have the other gun Oop. yeah just all the all around the other ones I really the, I like the other ones too but they started coming out with so many of the cartoon Ninja Turtle toys that it just like got ridiculous on being able to keep up 
keep up with them. I wanted to get the four pack from the Holothon for you guys to do the unboxing, but that was $150. And I know some people might think I'm making a living off of uh, doing these YouTube videos, but I am definitely not. Um, I don't get paid that much from doing these YouTube videos. I do them just because I'm really trying to build my channel and show people if you want to buy it, if it's worth it to you. That's why I do the fake verse reels and the fake. The, this is fake. I got a lot of those coming. And then the rest of the other hands are hands just out like this. And like always, if you guys are ever looking for anything, um, any video in particular, any unboxing that you want to uh, see, shoot it in the comments and I can see if I can try getting to it. I see some uh, people posting about the fake verse reels. The fake verse reels tend to be hard sometimes because I got to get the exact one. So if actually anybody is out there that has the original... Um, I think it is the 2017 Terminator from uh, NECA with the red lasers on the box and they got the real one uh, and they're willing to sell it message me and everything I'll buy it because I'm just trying to find the original one that came out and so I can do an unboxing on that one of the fake first reel but that will conclude this episode of the collector's review and we are going to get up close with the super bebop and mighty rock steady action figures real quick so stick around man like always like share and subscribe hit that little subscribe button down there got plenty more videos coming and this is part three of the holothon so let's get close peace